Hi, I'd like to welcome you to the Virginia Photography Company's video tutorial series. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to access your images online, choose some favorites, and you can also learn how to download in specific sizes particular images for things like use in social media, use on the web, and we'll talk a little bit before we go to a second video on how to actually retrieve full resolution images for printing purposes. Let's get started. In the email you would have received, you would have gotten a URL. We're going to pop a URL in for a current client. And that URL will either take you directly to the gallery once you've actually logged in, or it will ask you to put in a password. Now in the same email that you just received, uh, you'll have a password that you'll put in that will get you access to that gallery. Once you have accessed that gallery, the system will remember you and each time that you put in the URL, you'll be able to go back to the same gallery. So let's get started with choosing favorites. Choosing favorites in a gallery is relatively simple. You'll basically go into any image and as you see when you roll over the top of the images, you have the ability to mark them with a heart as a favorite. Many of them also have icons at the bottom that will allow you to share them with some of the most popular social media platforms that are out there. And of course you can purchase the images. We're going to start by simply creating favorites. Once you click a heart in the upper left hand corner of any image, you will get this dialog box the first time that will ask you to please log in. You'll notice that this is asking you to log in to our Hawaii company. Hawaiian Picks Photography. Rest assured it is the Virginia Photography Company as well. We're going to continue on after logging in. Because we are registered users of this website, we simply logged in. You will ask, you'll be asked for your name, basic information, and this information will be stored in order for you to actually have a favorites gallery. You can see up here at the top that there is a favorites gallery now that's listed in here. Inside the favorites gallery, you'll have multiple images that you may have chosen by clicking on the hearts. And each time that you click on a heart on any image, it'll be selected and put directly into that gallery so that they're easier to find the next time that you log in. The next time you log in, rather than trying to search through all of the images that are here, you can simply click on My Favorites. We're going to go ahead and click on My, Fla My Favorites now. And you can see that the favorites that we've chosen by clicking on the heart in the image now show up in this gallery, but none of the other images do. This gives us the option to actually go into these specific Im images as the ones that we like the most, and we can download them directly. This is the fastest way for you to actually do your downloads. Now the downloads in this particular fashion are strictly for use on the internet, in emails, on social media, or potentially your website and it all depends on the size of the image that you download. We're going to get into that now. When you click on any image and make it large and you ask to do the download, your system will pop up a dialog box that will ask you to save your images. We're simply going to save ours to the desktop so that it's easy to, to find and that image is now being saved to the desktop. You can see this here. Once that image has been saved and we know that we like it, we can continue on to the next image but and do the exact same thing. You can repeat this for each one of them or you can download all of them at the same time. And doing it this way tends to work a little better because you don't end up with a zip file and your transmission is relatively fast. If you have a lot of images that you wish to download all at one time, it is better to actually go back to the thumbnail view, select all of the images by holding down the shift key, clicking on the first one and clicking on the last one and hitting download. When you do this, you'll receive an entire file that has all of these images, which you will have to unzip in order to see. Choosing favorites like this is a good idea if you have a web designer or if you have an individual who's actually putting together images for you, they can choose the size of images that they wish to download. When you download the images to the computer, they are not watermarked and you will have the ability to utilize them at your leisure. 
The images that you've purchased in full resolution size, we will handle that in a totally separate video. We hope that this helps you to understand how to make your selections, make them into favorites, log into your system, and actually download multiple size images directly to your computer. Thanks for watching.